بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Since September 2019 the Islamic Education Trust Human Welfare Department has positively touched over 6,500 lives through its intervention program the food aid program the financial aid program Kurbani meat distribution during Eid Al-Adha Widows Empowerment Program the Orphan Care Program and the tree planting program. For this good work to continue and be sustained, we need your continuous support. Jazakumullahu khairan as we look forward to your generous donation. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, you are welcome to our program on marriage and its contemporary realities. Uh, my name is Ibrahim Yahya, and uh, we have been discussing issues relating to marriage and marital life. And in our just previous episode, we discussed the, uh, all those things that can bring joy uh, after marriage. And, but in this episode, inshallah, episode number seven, we are going to discuss the causes of marital problems. And I have with me to uh, discuss the issue, Sheikh Muhammad Isa Ali. Sheikh, you are welcome. Thank you very much. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmaduhu, and Astainuhu, and Astaghfiruhu, and Astahdi. And I would be lah him in Shururi and Fusina, or men say at our Malina. May Yahdi Hillah, who fell a mudilla, or may you lil fella had yella, or shadow Allah, Ila Hillah, who had a hula sherikala, or no Mohammedan Abduhu or Sula. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على هذا النبي الأمي النبي المصطفى والأمين المجتبى وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى مدينة ما بعد. I greet you brothers and sisters in Islam. I greet you with the words of peace. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Our topic of today is introduce if one two people come and stay together. There must be, their perceptions can never be the same. And the ways, their exposure can never be the same. And their knowledge, the level at which this man has studied and what he, is, he's, he knew may be different from that of the other. So that makes the criteria they use to accept or believe or understand differs from one person from another. And that is why the word tolerance must come into play when a husband and wife uh, become, when a person becomes a husband and he obtains a wife in Islam. There must be tolerance. And also, it is very, very incorrect in the house of Islam for you to say that uh, uh, there are marriages that exist that do not have problem at all. No, there, to a certain degree, there must be a problem. And there may be even problems, but it depends on the way they handle the problem or the way they treat the problem itself or the way they look at it. To some people, it may be a big problem, and to another couple, it may be a minor problem. The second couple will find many ways to solve the problem because they have already minimized its size. But if you take the size of a minor problem and enlarge it too big, it complicates many issues. And it affects the entire phases of marital life. It will affect her not cooking for him. It may affect him not giving her what she needs just because of one minor problem that comes from a very, very negligible source. And in most cases, it may be shaitan, shaitan that leads them to even thinking that it is a big problem. So... Even the Prophet Sallallahu used to have pro marital problems. But how did he address them? That is the most important thing that we should note. However, marital problems can be categorized into three or four uh, types. I say three or four because there are scholars that feel the fourth one can be merged into the third one. The first one is the problems that are caused by husbands. 
there is a material problem that if you diagnose it quickly you say uh, my friend it is your fault because you did this you did that and solving it becomes easy because you know where it comes from and you know who did it and he is now to think of how to stop it or amend those things that are amendable the second one is problems caused by wives there's a problem that by merely hearing the problem this came from the wife and solving the problem will be easy because we already know where it came from it emanates from and we can easily tell that person please just adjust this fix this in the right place and that's all the third category is problems caused by both husband and wife jointly that each one has his own fault you can't say it is the husband that had fault in that issue no maybe it was caused by the husband but the wife enlarged it then it became a problem that each one contributed or the wife caused it and the problem husband took it too big and too far so also it can be caused by both of them the last category is problems caused by a third party or third parties but however many scholars say no the last one can be matched into the one caused by both of them why because it is the two of them that allowed the third party to have a role to play if the whole in in in, in some uh, proverbs they said that a, a wall if you see a lizard coming into a room through a wall it means it is the wall that gave the lizard a way to enter to penetrate if that lizard searches for any hole and could not find one you will not see the lizard there so you can't even come and say it is the lizard that caused this so, so this is very very important to note now problems caused by husbands they can easily be categorized into three i'm categorizing because when you're talking about marital problems we can talk about 100 or hundreds of problems it depends on how you look at it but when you categorize them it makes it easier for you to allow people to go go into all further details mm -hmm. and further researches on that issue problems caused by husbands can be one of the three it's either related to monetary issue or it is related to his behavior behavioral and the third one is it's not monetary it is not behavioral it is gender demand these are the three things when you come to summarize problems that will come from a husband and i bet you take all the problems you can think of that comes from a husband it will fall under one of these three the first is monetary if a husband cannot cater for the needs of his family there's already a big problem he may have his reasons but those reasons may reach an ex a stage there where they are unacceptable he must find a way out because the word marriage is a covenant you must have a place you play that your wife will stay you can't say no the house rent has gone too high so now i cannot cope so let her stay where she is and i stay where i am then islam has no room for that number two is feeding you can't say no the situation has reached a stage whereby i cannot even feed my family in islam it will reach a stage whereby the marriage can be even discontinued because of that particular reason so also clothing so also basic needs basic needs not wants not her wants she may want to have a, an helicopter she may want to have a, 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 a ship that is that goes across the oceans but needs basic needs as a human being those things that have some link with money a husband must cater for them and if he is unable then the problem is caused by him i said needs and wants because there are some husbands and wives that cannot even distinguish which is needs and which is wants and in the course of discussing needs you enter into wants that of wants in the house of islam is something that is negotiable yes you want this but that thing is not a need let's say she said i must you must buy me a car is that a need in most cases it's not a need it's a want but you must provide for me to move from one place to another that one is a need and it depends on your class or category in the society the next one is problems uh, caused by uh, the, the behavioral problems 
behavioral problems are not necessarily, they don't have much to do with money. It is his behavior. If a husband always frowns at his wife, or a husband always shouts at her, or a husband always abuses his wife, or a husband always suspects his wife, or he's, he complains too much, every minor thing is a problem. Every minor thing in the house is a problem. That is behavioral. Or a husband leaves his wife for too long, I may have one reason or the other. Some may be genuine, some not. But it, is, it can now reach the behavioral aspect of it. Or a husband that is careless with regards to who he relates with. He talks to women anyhow. And the wife will be saying, who are these women? I say, no, that's not your business. I'm the boss in this house, so you can't ask me. Or a husband that is always Mr. Right. All these are behavioral problems. Or she, he disrespects her relatives and her parents or her loved ones. This is also a behavioral problem. Then the third one is gender demand. And almost all married couples know what I mean by gender demand. There are the urge in a man that made Allah allowed him to stay with a wife to answer to those things, the needs, to the best of his ability and capability is a, a must and a duty upon him. And if he fails, then there will be a problem somewhere. So there will be problem. It also leads to marital problem. Then the next aspect is problems caused by wives. Even problems caused by wives can be categorized into these same three groups. The first is monetary. The second is the uh, behavioral aspect. And the third one is gender demand. The monetary, someone may ask, why monetary in the aspect of woman? Yes, if she is the nagging type of wife. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Even if he says, okay, don't worry, maybe towards the end of the month, or in the next two months I'll do it, she keeps repeating the same thing. It causes marital problem. Or you know his salary, and you know his income. And you keep asking him something that, it's above his, his monetary power. That will cause a lot of problem. My friend, uh, her husband bought her this. But her husband may happen to be the managing director of a particular powerful establishment. And this man is just maybe a class teacher. You can't compare them. Then you keep nagging. And excessive demands, even when it comes to marriage itself, at times it affects the marital life later. They must bring this. They must do that. They must do this. They must do that. Maybe he goes and borrows from different sources. After she comes to his wife, eh, his house, that hatredness is already established. So look at this woman, the way she caused me all this inconveniences just because I want to marry her. So that is where monetary comes in. And comparison as well. Always trying to compare yourself with some other group of people. So the monetary is more of demands and requests that has to do with money. So that is already a problem and it com complicates many things when it comes to marriage. The other one is behavioral. The behavioral aspect is the way you talk to your husband. If a husband talks to you in a nice way and you talk in a harsh way, already there will be a problem in that marriage. Or you are annoyed and you don't tell him, you keep it to yourself. And you keep piling them up, it's already a problem. Because when a small thing occurs between you and him, you said, two years ago, exactly this is what you did. Sir, two years ago? But I never noticed that you were annoyed. I said, no, it's not only that one. There are about five or six incidences. Already it's like uh, you, are, you are preparing to fight a, 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 a war between you and somebody. So everybody is preparing with his ammunition. Keeping diary of Aha. So you have piles of useless and harmful things that she is keeping. That when you come to discuss one problem, about 10 other 20 problems come in. So you don't even know where to start from, where to end. Behavioral is also exposing secrets. Every minor thing between you and him, he hears it from somebody else. Or oh, she takes the phone. We are in the era of phones now. Any minor thing with her husband, phone call. You see what he did again? 
any husband that hears this, that problem, marriage will definitely have a serious problem. And again, gender demand is that a wife uh, has her gender demand and a husband must look into that based on the teachings of Islam and the guidance of the Prophet Wasallam. The last one is problems caused by both of them. It will, the, that one is a joint problem. And to make it easier to understand and summarize it is that when one is the cause of the problem, then instead of you to think for the solution, then you add to it. Since she abused me, then I will slap her. It is caused by both of them. Because I did mean you were able to restrain from the slapping. That problem could have solved itself on its own. But you said, let me do this. So anyone that uh, amplifies a small problem among them makes both of them a party in contributing towards the bringing uh, or creating that problem between a husband and wife. No. Interesting. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, dear viewers, we'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll continue uh, this area of interesting discussion.